In the year 1773, a queen with a very fancy bottom, Marie Antoinette demanded a more dignified way to, well, you know. Thus, the bidet was born. But fear not, unlike this powdered wig situation, the bidet's journey through history has been surprisingly functional and hopefully less itchy. Okay, history lesson over. Now, let's address the elephant in the bathroom, or rather the awkward silence surrounding the bidet. Here's the thing, a lot of people are using these things wrong. And trust me, a confused bidet is not your friend. It's like a high-pressure game of Marco Polo with your nether regions. Not exactly relaxing. So, fear not, bidet newbies. We're here to guide you through the mysterious world of water jets and porcelain thrones. We won't subject you to any unnecessary close-ups because, let's face it, nobody wants to see that. But we'll give you all the info you need for a clean and comfortable experience. See? Easy as pie. Or, well, easier than cleaning with just toilet paper. Now before you go blasting your backside like a rogue garden hose, remember. Gentle pats, not power washing. And for the love of all things decent, don't use it as a foot bath. Trust me, your feet will thank you. Now for the actual cleaning. Gently position yourself on the bidet and adjust the nozzle if needed. Most bidets offer a front and back spray option. Use whichever feels most comfortable for you. But remember, always be gentle and avoid sensitive areas. Think of it like a mini car wash for your undercarriage. A gentle rinse, not a power scrub. Once you're feeling squeaky clean, metaphorically speaking of course, most bidets have a built-in air dryer or a handy spot for a towel. Pat yourself dry and voila, you're good to go. All right, that's enough internet for today. Remember bidets are your friends. Treat them with respect and they'll treat your, well, you know, with the same courtesy. So, are you ready to join the B-Day revolution? Don't worry, you'll be a clean machine in no time. Thumbs up.